You're right, Tom, yeah. If you saw my last video, then you'll know I've been reorganising my workshop a little bit. I've even given the walls a lick of paint. Well, in this one, I'm going to show you how to make a cart for your dust collection. This one for me has got my cyclone on the top and it's got my hoover on the bottom. Dead simple construction, really quick to do if you don't paint it. Here's how I did it. Being a workshop project, I wanted to keep the construction as simple as possible. Basic CLS, which is just a type of softwood. Cut at 90 degree angles to form butt joints and screw together. No glue, no fancy joinery. The butt joints on their own, they am quite weak. But as soon as you add plywood across the joints, they become really strong, especially for workshop projects like this. This rectangle will act as a base to the cart. The one I've made is 45 centimeters by 50 centimeters. This is just to fit my hoover, but you can make yours to the size that you need. I made a back piece for the cart that was 45 centimeters by 140 centimeters. This then got attached to the base with screws. This back piece is to give me something to add a shelf to and to attach the hoses to. Connecting that tall back piece to the base with just screws, no, that's not very strong. But if you put plywood triangles on the side, think about bridge construction, it becomes a hell of a lot stronger and really rigid. The arms for the shelf are 50 centimeters long and also got attached with screws. You're noticing a theme now, the arms that I'm sticking out with just screws coming through the back, not very strong at all. Wax some plywood triangles on though, them solid. The plywood will not only act as a shelf, but it will also add strength by tying the arms together. To make the cart a cart, I added four casters to the bottom and gave it a lick of paint. The only reason that I decided to paint mine was mainly because of doing these videos. I wanted it to look nice, so I went with the dark grey and the magenta, not pink, to match my new colour scheme. The magenta pieces at the top will hold the hose pipe in place. I then added a couple of hooks to wrap the other hose around for easy storage. So here's the cart done. Like I say, really basic construction. What I've done, I've just sat these on top. These are like the accessories to the hoover. I did think about making a little pocket or a little holder for them, but the amount of times I actually use them, the best just sitting there. As you can see on the top, I've got the cyclone. I was concerned about it getting pulled around when I used the hose extension that comes out. But what I've done up top is I've put a bungee piece. So this bungee cord goes around, holds the pipe in place. So when I pull, I'm pulling on the bungee rather than the cyclone and the bucket on the top. That's the theory at least. If I do have trouble with this getting pulled off, I'll be able to put some pieces on the bottom to kind of lock it in place or even add a bungee around the bucket itself to the back piece of CLS and that should hold it in place. The magenta, not pink, piece at the top that holds the pipe coming from the hoover to the cyclone is holding that really strong, that's not going anywhere. And with the two screws, it's easily removed if I need to get all of this out for whatever reason. As it stands though, I only need to release the lid off the bucket, I can remove the bucket, empty it, put it back in place, jobs are good in. The grey pipe that goes from the hoover to the cyclone at the top connects to the hoover at a 90 degree angle piece and that worked out really well because it prevents any kind of tight bends on the pipe itself. On the side you will have saw that I've added two hooks. I've got a hook at the top and a hook at the bottom and that's just to wind up the pipe when I'm not using it. Keep it out of the way and keep it all nice and tidy. What I am planning on doing is sorting something out for my actual power cable. My power in my shed it's not great. I run everything off an extension lead at the moment but I'm planning of unhooking this and trying to run it around the top maybe the roof of my shed. I'm not 100% about it at the moment. So for now, I can ravel it up on the hoover, plug it in when I need it and ravel it back up when I don't. But I do want a more permanent solution. So when I figure that out, I'll get that sorted. I told you it was a simple project, but I hope you liked it. I hope it's inspired you to get in the workshop and to get making stuff. 
We're all stuck at home at the mini, crazy things happening around the world as I'm sure you're aware. So what I'm planning on doing, instead of doing a regular project where I'd go from start to finish, here's the entire project and how to do it, I'm planning on doing kind of a daily or every other day style vlog following in the process because I'm doing a big project coming up. The wood is being delivered on Monday, all being well. So when that arrives, I'm gonna be making two kids beds in the style of the Gruffalo. So it's quite a big project, as you can imagine. So instead of waiting and getting it all into one consolidated video, I think it could be good just to give you a little update each day, how I'm getting on with it and how it's coming along. If you're interested in that sort of thing, make sure you get subscribed and click the bell notification so you get a notification or an email as soon as I upload the videos. I've got some other ideas as well. I'm planning on doing a movie poster and also a little stand for a drink that I like for in the kitchen. Just some little projects to keep me tied over because it's really a struggle to get materials and stuff like that as I'm sure you're aware. Before I head off I want to say a massive thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Honestly guys I can't begin to thank you all enough and I've had a couple of new Patreons recently as well so I want to say a massive thank you to Papa F and Crazy Mama and also to Alec as well. Thank you so much guys for jumping on board. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a like if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Catch you next time.